Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Xiang Yu from Michigan State University. Uh, our paper is Digital Reinforcement Learning for Page Wide Recommendations. The paper is co authored by my partner uh, Long Xia, Liang Zhang, Zhuo Ye Ding, and David Yin from GD.com, and uh, uh, Dr. Ji Liang Tang, who is my advisor. So, the recommendation system are uh, intelligent. Uh, uh, e-commerce applications which uh, aim to suggest items that best, best fit user's preference. Uh, so this figure shows a typical example of the interaction between user and uh, the recommender system. So each time the system recommends a page of a page of items to the user, the user will browse this item and provide his uh, real-time feedback. According to the uh, feedback, the system will update their uh, recommending strategy and uh, recommend a new page of recommendations. This example uh, suggests uh, two key challenges when we model this kind of interaction for recommended system. First, how to capture the user's dynamic preference and uh, update the recommending strategy according to user's real-time feedback. And second, how to generate a page of diverse and uh, complementary items and display them in a two-dimensional page. So most existing recommend system treat the recommendation procedure as a static process and make recommendations following a fixed strategy. However, this type of methods uh, are hard to capture users' dynamic preference and uh, they're hard to update their uh, recommending strategy according to users' real-time feedback. Thus, in this paper, we uh, consider the recommendation procedure as the sequential interaction between user and the recommender agent and uh, leverage reinforcement learning to automatically learn the optimal strategy. So deep, uh, deep reinforcement learning based recommendations uh, uh, have two advantages. First, they are able to continuously update their recommend recommendation strategy during their interaction with users. Second, the optimal strategy is designed to maximize the long-term reward from users. So when we, uh, use, uh, uh, when we use reinforcement learning for recommendations, there are two key challenges. Uh, the first, uh, for example, the first uh, architecture is hard to handle the large and the dynamic action space and the computational cost to select an optimal action for the second architecture is extremely high. So in this paper, we use the deep deterministic policy gradient method in which the actor uh, aim to generate a page of recommendations according to user's preference and the uh, critic uh, provides the judgment of whether the recommendation match user's uh, current preference and will generate a higher long-term reward. So the goal of the uh, actor is to generate a page of recommendations according to user's preference and uh, we need to tackle the three uh, aforementioned uh, challenges. So here is the overview of the actor architectures where we use a encoder-decoder framework. The input of the encoder is the recommendation of the items in the page. So we have the item uh, embeddings which are pre-trained by the company, and we have the item category because we would like to capture user preference in different category and generate a diverse and complementary recommendations. And finally, we have the user's feedback because we would like to know uh, user's uh, interest in one page. Uh, we input these three type of information in the, uh, into the embedding there and, get, uh, and we can get the item representations of each item. And then we place the item representations uh, as the original arrangement in the, uh, in the page and we will get a two-dimensional matrix uh, as a, uh, similar to an image. 
Then we introduce a CN layer to capture the uh, spatial uh, display, uh, item display, item displaying strategy in one page. And finally, we uh, introduce a GRU with a tension layer to capture users' dynamic preference across different pages. For the decoder, uh, given users uh, the vector of users current preference, uh, the decoder aims to generate a page of recommendations and display them in one page. So this is a inverse process of uh, what a CN does. So we introduce the deconvolutional neural network uh, uh, to generate the recommendations and uh, display in, and uh, display them in one page. Uh, it's worth to note that the generated item embedding may not exist in the real item space, so we need to map the, uh, this generated embedding to the valid embedding in the system. Uh, so the, uh, the goal of the critic architecture is to uh, learn uh, a, a action value function and uh, which is a judgment of whether the recommendation match user's preference and uh, this, uh, this page of recommendation will lead to a higher long-term reward. So we need, uh, we use the similar architecture as the uh, actor uh, architecture. So we designed two methods, the online and the offline training method to train our method in, to train our framework in the real online system and, the, uh, and based on users' uh, historical data. And please refer our paper for more details. Uh, our experiment is based on the data from GD.com. We randomly collect uh, one million of recommendation sessions uh, in time order, and we use the first 70% uh, session to train our model, and uh, later 30% uh, session to, to test our model. Uh, we set uh, each time the, recommend, the agent to recommend a page of 10 items to, to the user. Uh, uh, we compare our method with the several successful uh, baselines, for example, the CF and uh, uh, FM, the traditional method, and the successful deep learning method, the GRU, and the traditional reinforcement learning method, the DQN and the DDPG. We have several uh, observations, for example, the Traditional RL methods such as DQ and DPG can output, uh, outperform GRU because the reinforcement learning method is designed to uh, achieve the trade-off between the long-term and the short-term reward while the GRU is designed to maximize the immediate reward. And uh, all methods the DPG can output the, uh, can outperform the other baselines because we jointly optimize one page of items and we introduce GRU to capture users' real-time feedback. Uh, to validate the effectiveness of our method, we design several variants of, of our deep page framework and each, in each variant we remove one component. component. And uh, the results are in the form, and we, have, we also have several ob uh, observations. For example, uh, our method can uh, outperform uh, the deep page 4 and the deep page 7, which removes the uh, CN and the D, uh, D, DCN. And this result suggests that uh, uh, the item dis display, uh, the item display strategy can influence users' decision making process. For the future work, uh, we would like to handle multiple uh, multiple uh, e-commerce tasks uh, in one framework, uh, in one RL framework, and uh, we would like to design the method to reduce the temporal complexity of mapping from the portal action and the valid action. Thanks. Any questions? Any question? Oh, over there. Oh, yes, uh, I mean, um, I have one question about uh, one of the baselines, uh, collaborative filtering. Can you explain a little bit more how did you implement uh, these baselines for this specific problem? 
so the, uh, uh, did you just create the, the list of recommendations in one shot with collaborative filtering, or did you iterate uh, several times? Uh, so the first baseline, collaborative filtering. Oh, CF. Uh, for this, uh, the first two baselines, we uh, use the user's uh, historical behavior to build a matrix of the items and uh, the users and uh, do the matrix uh, decomposition, uh, uh, matrix factorization. And uh, yes. So is it an uh, item based uh, collaborative filtering or a no, user? No, it's a static based. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Any other questions? Okay, so let's thank the speaker.